The Holy See confirms that for the first time since 1951, two bishops from mainland China will participate in an official Vatican meeting. The announcement comes after the provisional agreement that both governments signed on September 22nd. They knew the agreement would happen, and then they told us the two bishops from mainland China could come. I would like to add that in the past the Holy See always invited the bishops from mainland China, but they've never been able to come. In this case, though, they can, and they will be present. The two bishops will participate in the Synod of Bishops that aims to study how to realign the church and youth. There will also be novelties throughout the meeting. In addition to almost 270 Synod Fathers, there will be 34 young people who will open each of the sessions. This decision was made in March after the Pope's preliminary meeting with 300 young people. Listening is fundamental. The Pope said the first thing we should do is listen. Then we will seek to respond to the needs and demands of the Church. I believe this is the first synod that has been preceded by a previous meeting made up of 300 young people. Therefore, we must not lose sight of young people during this event. We must make sure that they are really the main players and they have brought their voices. The synod will begin Wednesday and end on October 28th. It will last more than three weeks and be of special importance for Pope Francis. In the Baltic countries, he recognized that the church must regain credibility for young people, especially because of the scandals.